The long-awaited Atlas submarine has finally been added to Subnautica, and in today's video, we're going to be checking it out, along with two other new submarines that have been recently modded into the game. Now, if you're not sure what the Atlas is, it was originally a concept for Subnautica that ended up being scrapped due to its size. But now, thanks to mods, it's been added to the game, and although it and the two other submarines are definitely not finished, they're still really cool and I want to check them out. Be sure to stick around to the end because we're going to be testing out these subs with the Gargantuan Leviathan. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Alright, let's go ahead and waste no time and build these things. Alright, and we're in a pretty deep area of water, so let's go ahead and deploy this thing. And here we go. We got the Atlas submarine right here, we have the Atrama, and we have the Odyssey. Let's go ahead and start off by building ourselves the Atlas submarine. Looks like we got a little bit of lag here. The Atlas submarine is a top secret military prototype designed for all specially designed for void exploration. This sub features near unlimited crush depth and is able to withstand even the most dangerous creature attacks. And there we go. Would you look at the size of this thing? This thing is massive. But honestly, I am a little tiny bit underwhelmed. I almost expected it would be a little bit bigger. But anyways, we got the peeper on the model here. The model looks amazing. I'll give it that. Yeah, the model's definitely really well done. Let's see if we can go inside of this thing really quickly. I wonder what these things are. I think they're like some sort of batteries or something. I'm not entirely sure. So anyways, I believe we can go on top of the Atlas right here. And there we go go so we're on top of the atlas the hitbox is a little wonky here but anyways i believe this is where we enter over here we have some equipment on the top and then we have the engine over here oh and it looks like there's two hatches interesting okay that's good to know i am getting stuck while i'm walking around this thing but i'm assuming this is just because it's a work in progress all right and this Online. Okay, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. This is the inside of the sub. As you can see, it's not really finished, but we got a ton of rooms and stuff in here. I can't enter this room, though. Interesting. Okay. Now, I do have one question. Can we actually build stuff inside of here? Let's see if we can build a fabricator. We can! That's actually so amazing! I'm not sure why there's a loud beeping noise going on right now either. I'm assuming that's also a bug. But yeah, we can basically just turn all of these rooms into a massive area with tons of lockers and a fabricator and a radio and all that. That's actually really super cool. But yeah, it's definitely not finished as we can see. So up here are the controls coming soon, it says. So I believe this works like the Altera Sea Voyager, I believe it's called. I do actually believe it used the same code. So we press forward and our sub goes forward. We can turn it off like this. We can go sideways, backwards, which will make it go diagonal. So yeah, the controls are pretty basic. I'm assuming this will be improved on, of course. But yeah, I honestly love the model, and this is honestly a great first step in the right direction. I believe we just exit right here. Now, I do want to talk about the model being used in this mod just a little bit. I'm guessing there are some of you in the audience who actually recognize the Atlas model that's used in this mod. And that's because if you do a quick Google search for the Atlas Subnautica model, you'll come up with two results, one from ArtStation.com and one from Sketchfab.com. I'm not sure if they're made by the same person, but this is the model that's being used in this mod. How the story goes is the people making this mod hired someone to create a model similar to these models, but they ended up getting ripped off, as whoever they hired simply stole the model from one of these websites and sold it to them. Whether this is actually true or or not, I'm not exactly sure, but I'd like to give credit to the people who actually made the model. They've seriously done an amazing job on this thing. The resulting drama from this revelation resulted in the disbanding of the team who actually made this mod, so unfortunately there will be no more updates or improvements to it. However, I have heard rumors that the architects of the unknown, or the people who made the Gargantuan Leviathan mod, are planning on adding the Atlas to their mod. Hopefully, the rumors are true, and hopefully it'll be a lot better than what we have right now, because quite frankly, this thing is not so good. Seriously though, there's a lot of improvements I'd love to see if the architects of the unknown end up actually picking up this project. But anyways, let's go ahead and build ourselves the Atrama vehicle. All right, here we go. It says a submarine built for construction. It is quite sluggish, but has an enormous storage capacity. Interesting. There's no lag for this one, which is very good. And this one's also taking a lot longer than the Atlas took. I was actually very surprised by how quick that was. All right, and there we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at the outside really quickly. It honestly looks a little silly. I'm not sure why it's designed like this. We got two little things on the outside and then a sort of main pod on the inside or whatever. I think this is where we enter the vehicle. Let's see if there's anything else I'm missing. It doesn't look like it. Anyways, let's go ahead. Oh. 
Well, that's a new voice. Okay. We got vehicle batteries here and a fabricator built into the submarine, which is very nice. We have access upgrades right here. And it looks like it's just the prawn suit upgrades for now. Interesting. Okay. I wonder if you can actually build upgrades for this thing. I'm not entirely sure. So right here we have toggle headlights, toggle interior lighting. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's a big difference. Toggle floodlights, toggle nav lights. I'm not sure what that is. Of no use, of no use. Toggle power. Oh, interesting of no use and autopilot to do so yeah this is definitely a work in progress because there are buttons that simply don't do anything admittedly it is a little rough around the edges but this is definitely an awesome step in the right direction i'm really excited for there to be more submarines added to this game i think that's gonna be super cool okay let's start piloting this thing so we're moving forward now it is a little bit sluggish like it said it's actually not that slow though interesting i'm not a huge fan of how the submarine controls i wish it was more more like the Seamoth or something, but I still think this submarine is super cool, and I'm curious if it actually interacts with the Gargantuan Leviathan mod. I guess we'll see that later, though. Angle is too steep. Double tap exit button to auto level. Okay, and now we can exit. Interesting. That's a cool little feature. All right, let's go ahead and check out the Odyssey now. I'm assuming it's going to be very similar to this. Of course, a different model, but yeah. All right, here we go. We have the Odyssey. It says, a submarine built for exploration. It is nimble for its size. It fits into small corridors, and its floodlights are extremely powerful. Interesting. Let's go ahead and build this thing. Again, there's no lag for this one, and it's also taking a lot longer. All right, and here we go. All right, so I'm definitely liking how this looks a lot better. We have an Altair logo and it says odyssey that's awesome yeah the model for this thing is actually a lot better than the other one in my opinion we got little thingies on the top like the atlas and the cyclops and i think this is where we enter let's see if there's anything else we can see one thing is i wish this was like transparent so we could see the inside i'm assuming of course that's just because it's a work in progress but anyways let's go ahead and enter the vehicle now this looks very similar to the atrama of course you have a fabricator you have vehicle batteries you have upgrades again and again it's the prawn suit but we have more slots i think we have storage which is actually very nice oh wow that's actually a ton of storage holy and i'm curious can we actually build stuff in here we cannot build stuff in here and i'm assuming that's the same with the atrama i hope i'm saying that right i'm honestly not sure but anyways we have toggle headlights toggle interior lighting toggle floodlights of no use of no use toggle nav lights autopilot of no use and toggle power let's start piloting this thing it's very similar to the atrama from what i'm noticing again the controls are not my favorite it almost feels like a hybrid between the prawn suit and the seamoth it's really weird this is the part of the submarine that I think needs to be polished the most because it's basically the most important part. The submarine can look really weird or whatever, but as long as you can use it, it doesn't really matter. This is so weird, it's almost unusable, but of course, this is a work in progress, so I'm not too worried about it. And yeah, I definitely think all three of these submarines are really awesome. And I think the fact that we can now mod submarines into the game easily is really good for the Subnautica modding community. Anyways, next up, I want to try each of these out with the Argantuan Leviathan in the void. All right, we've got ourselves an Atlas submarine right by the void. Let's go ahead and head inside. Oh, I just realized we can't actually use this hatch or something. Not sure what's going on with that. Anyways, here we go. We can enter through this one still, and whoa, it looks a little weird. Awesome. It is a little hard to see out of this thing. Let's go ahead and turn it this way so we can head towards the void. All right, I believe we are facing the void. So let's go ahead and head inside and see what happens. All right. I'm just going to stand right here and have that go forward so we can see what happens. I might stop it once we actually enter the void. And I can hear the Gargantuan Leviathan. There's a Ghost Leviathan. Probably going to stop it in just a minute here. Whoa. Hello, fishies. All right, we're probably far enough in the void. Where is the Gargantuan Leviathan? I heard him somewhere down there. Is that him? It's really hard to see outside this thing. Let's go ahead and actually exit the sub so we can actually see what's going on. Oh yeah, there he is. He's definitely here. I can't see him very well. I'm actually curious as to whether he's actually gonna attack this thing. Oh, he just rammed into it there. Yeah, it's getting knocked around. Did he just attack it? I'm not exactly sure. All right, I'm just gonna leave this guy here and spawn in the Atrama and the Odyssey to see if he's gonna attack those. And then of course, we'll also be seeing at the same time if he will attack the Atlas. Oh boy, I'm inside the Atrama right now. I'm gonna try and head towards the Gargantuan Leviathan and get him to attack me. There's not a whole lot of offensive we can do with this thing, but I'm really curious if it'll actually attack these. Oh boy, oh, okay. Yeah, it looks like it does attack them. Oh boy. 
and I'm still alive because this is creative, but I'm sure if this was survival, I would be dead. Wow, I was actually not really expecting it to attack me. Oh, and there's a Reaper Leviathan. Hello. Okay, you just jump scared me. I was not expecting that. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, so I'm super surprised because both the Reaper Leviathan and I'm assuming the other Leviathans and the Arvangian Leviathan attack this thing. That's awesome. I'm assuming since the Atrama can get attacked, the Odyssey can also get attacked. Where is it? Way over there. Yeah, it definitely looks like it got attacked. Let's head inside of it and see if we can see the attack firsthand. I don't think this guy's been attacked at all. He's just kind of been batted around, but of course I could be wrong. Oh, as soon as I come over here, I think my drama is getting attacked or something. Interesting. Okay, that Odyssey was not working because I'm assuming it got beaten up by the Grand and Leviathan, and I just noticed my trauma is 1,200 meters below me. So yeah, that's interesting. It definitely had some fun with the Grand and Leviathan. Yeah, I think when it gets attacked, we can't actually enter it because I was over there at the other one and I couldn't enter it, which is interesting. I almost wish there was like. Like a, a model for when it was broken too but i guess there isn't oh hello there how are you doing oh okay <laughs> and there we go okay we're dead if we were in survival at least whoa and we're still getting beat up oh wow look at that the atlas is also here what is going on okay yeah so it looks like the atlas can only get like beat around by the guard i don't think it can actually be attacked but of course i could be wrong i guess and yeah once the odyssey gets destroyed i can't exit it so i'm just gonna have to like warp out of here so yeah it looks like for the atlas there's no really animation of it attacking it for everything else there is oh speaking of which uh it's attacking something oh there goes my odyssey that is unfortunate but this guy can still definitely be batted around and i think it can still take damage but anyways, I think that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and it helps me a ton. Huge thanks to my patrons over at Patreon. Baby Yoda, Moon Lord, Cybot, Sean Skeptic, and then nothing. If you want to be awesome, become a patron and support today. And I will see you guys in the next video.